very curious. Uh, NASA images, statues, UFOs, and some kind of lights. The red planet on Mars, curious sightings on the ground and in the sky of Mars. UFO blogger Scott Waring, known for his excavations on Mars, quote-unquote, begun pleasing enthusiasts with new discoveries on our neighboring planet, a human head. He found it while looking at the panoramic image taken by the Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity rover, January 27, 2017. And on 1087th day of his stay on Mars, Sol 1087, the head, more precisely a child's head, is easy to see by enlarging the panorama, and the object is dark, sticking out of the sand just above the sharp edge of the layered massif, standing out against a lighter background, the features of a child's face clearly distinguishable, eyes, mouth, nose, bulging forehead, plump cheeks, long curly hair. Scott believes that the head he discovered is carved from polished stone and is a part of a statue which may be located deeper or just fell off. The statue, according to the UFO blogger, is clearly located and indicates that Mars was once inhabited. And now it's a, I guess this is a good location to tell you that I do have a playlist on the Emerald Tablets written by Thoth the Atlantean. And it's uh, amazing the philosophy they had and the advanced technology they had. And he claims that uh, Mars was inhabited. It had a, uh, an atmosphere and temperature the likes of Earth. And that at one point uh, a, terror, a, ter a traitor general was exiled to Mars. He was built, uh, his uh, tomb was built under a face on Mars. And his entourage of generals exiled with him were uh, buried under pyramids near his face. I guess that uh, could be that's the location of Sidonia. Anyway, going back to this, in another image that the Curiosity robot transmitted to Earth February 2014, Sol 528, you can see the half of the head of another handmade statue made of stone. Waring's collections restored the head, mirrored the remaining half of the reconstruction of the whole face, and of course it has a resemblance to a human, however the skull is somehow not humanly stretched up, and the mouth generally looks strange, as if it's framed by six lips or fangs. Is it a Martian? Is it an alien? We don't know, but it appears to be ancient by our standards. The head is also on the panoramic image, compiled from those that the Mars rover Spirit transmitted to Earth from the Gusev crater from April to October 2006. And it looks like a part of some monument that a distant portrait resembled to the sculptured image of perhaps Mayan Indians. Where does such diversity in fa facial features come from on Mars? The statue of the Martian Maya was discovered by Marcus Johansson, a virtual archaeologist from Germany, and nearby he also saw a half of a Martian second course dinner plate. The bottom is flat where is there's also a rim along the edge, very clearly seen. Now, most scientists agree that if Mars was inhabited, this would have taken place a very, very long time ago, more than three billion years ago, perhaps, is the, in the so-called Noah's era, when seas and oceans were still splashing around on that planet. And since then, no statues or any other material evidence of martial life, especially crafts of local architects, could be preserved. So therefore, the finds of virtual archaeologists uh, are nothing more than stones of a bizarre shape. On the other hand, scientists can be mistaken. After all, skulls are also found on Mars. Some are human-like, others are humanoid. The skulls and the bones? The photo with the head was taken on Martian day 1352 by a camera mounted on the robot's arm, mast cam left, on Earth when it was May, 22nd, uh, May 26, 2016. Scott C. Waring, who was point, has pointed to the head uh, by his, uh, pointed to the head by his colleagues with the nickname Panorama, Par Paranormal Crucible, believes that this is indeed a skull sticking out of the sand Allegedly, one can distinguish its characteristic features, including eye sockets, but the shape of the skull is not entirely human. 
and according to them such a morphology could belong to a Bigfoot or a Yeti, as we call it on Earth. Who knows, maybe our cryptoids are from Mars and this is the real reason why they are so mysterious and elusive. Now on the other hand, if scientists are to believe that life used to be on the red planet, if it existed, died billions of years ago, it's unlikely that a skull, even a petrified one, would have survived after lying there for so long. It turns out that someone visited Mars not so long ago and was also very active. In one of the photos posted on the official website of NASA, another strange object is visible in the foreground, the resemblance of a skull sticking, uh, striking round with human uh, proportions. And you can see the eye sockets, the hollow of the nose, the picture is spoiled only by some strange black balls on top, resembling a light bulb and the lower jaw hidden in the sand. Now, the skull is clearly distinguishable from surrounding natural landscape. It's bright white, shiny, looks like a bone in the sun, not a stone at all. Nearby lies another skull. It's kind of dark, although perhaps this is not a skull at all, but perhaps a part of a certain sculpture. It's a head, and everything else is buried in the sand. And glitches in the Martian sky, from time to time, rovers photograph UFOs appearing in the Martian sky. One of the most impressive images was taken January 5th, 2014, Martian Day 504. An object resembling a rocket taking off hit the camera lens of the Curiosity. And in the image, which was taken July 14, 2014, by the Curiosity's right navigation camera, Horizontally alleged uh, elongated dark strip clearly uh, visibly seen against the backdrop of the mountain range with zooms and elevation becomes noticeable like a dome and the object takes on a plate shape. Some UFOs also glow. Several pictures with strange lights appearing on the horizon were sent by the same Curiosity rover. Justin Mackey of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Pasadena, California thought these lights, quote-unquote, were glitches caused by cosmic rays hitting the lens. He also did not rule out sunbeam reflections from hard rocks polished by the wind. But then he theorized a camera defect, the so-called hot pixel of the electronic matrix. And according to Mackey, only the right navigation camera of the two on board, the Curiosity, suffers from such a glitch. In fact, the mysterious lights appear only in pictures taken with the right navigation camera. Therefore, the hypothesis that it, that it sometimes acts up looks quite sensible. Only one thing does not make sense. From time to time, that very right camera still captures dark spots that do not look at all like in the intrigues of hot pixels. One of these, for example, was captured July 14, 2014, and it's very clearly visible on the horizon against the background of the mountain range. It appears as a dark strip elongated horizontal and if you zoom in on the picture posted on the Mars website then under the strip an elevation becomes noticeable like a dome. The object then takes on the appearance of a natural flying saucer as we know them. UFO flickered and flew away. Another UFO what we would call UFO fluke uh, visibly in the picture taken with one of the many cameras of NASA's Curiosity and uh, the one location located on the body called the front has cam. There are eight similar cameras and they are black and white equipped with white angle lenses, photographing panoramas helping to navigate and plot the route. The UFOs appear right on the Curiosity course January 5th, 2014, Martian Day 504, and it was captured by a camera located in the front and in the picture posted on the official NASA website the object is located slightly on the right and looks like a right a light core cone and enthusiasts have no doubt that these are aliens flying across the Martian sky they say even if the UFO were a meteor or even a comet it would have an upward tail as befits falling celestial bodies the confirmation that the object was moving can be pictured taken by the same camera but a little later after 6 minutes 29 seconds there's no longer a UFO on it and it has flown away. The streaked UFO surprised NASA experts so much that they captured the image commentary intriguingly bird, plane, spaceship, 
Mark Lemon from the University of Texas, one of the leaders of the team that controls the spirit robot, made a sensational comment. Perhaps we will never know what it was, a meteorite first photographed on Mars, or a spacecraft that arrived from other worlds, but we will work on a solution, he says. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.